Hey guys, welcome to the Limp Fit Coaching Podcast today. Coach Caleb with you here today, and we're diving into the topic of deep health today. What is this uh, concept of holistic health, and what can you do to prioritize all that throughout each day? What are small things you can do or questions you can ask yourself to help you take action, take the next steps, and do little things that can help you improve each way? But also, I want you to understand today about like what all goes into that. And so, let's dive into that today. So a question for you, have you ever stopped to think about like what goes into your overall health? These days we tend to like simplify it a little bit uh, because we don't want to overcomplicate things. We want to, we want to like avoid some things. Um, Basically we think like, as long as I don't have any problems, as long as I don't have any like aches and pains, as long as I um, can pass a blood test or a physical, I I must be good to go. But if we, if we all kind of like stop for a second and we honestly think like, Am I really thriving right now? You might be physically okay, but are there other things that are, are weigh, like weighing down on you? Um, can you say that you're thriving in every area of life right now? And so I think if a lot of us are honest with us, then we can say that uh, there's definitely areas that we could grow in, some areas in our life that we're not satisfied with, whether it be that physical, mental, emotional, whatever type of health that is. And uh, that's not a bad thing. That's normal. So you can call yourself a normal person because we can all grow in, in lots of ways. And so what I want to talk about today is deep health. I'm going to be throwing that term out there a lot. Uh, and let's kind of define that a little bit. Like deep health is it's basically like a, a goal to have balance, not perfection, um, in several different areas. It's not just about avoiding sickness, um, but having a degree of physical f- fitness and a fit appearance, but also going into every area of life. It's not just with the physical, it's in every area of life that's going to help you have a, the best possible quality of life. And so when you think of deep health, think past the physical. Think about everything that goes into how you feel each day and each moment. And so why is deep health important? Well, I think a lot of us have had a little bit extra time in this past year uh, and more recently where we've had a chance to have a little bit of introspection where we can understand how like, wow, stress from family or work or other things has been causing me to just like feel exhausted. I feel like I'm never able to catch up. And it's not just about my physical health. I just feel like a wreck each day because of the stress or the other things I'm on that I'm under. Maybe you've decided to do a career shift in this past year because whatever you were doing before just wasn't really fulfilling you. Um, and so, this kind of deep health, there's there's multiple ways to come at it. And if we have a growth mindset, we can chase that deep health and we can really make some awesome progress to really be um, progressing towards a state of where we're better, where we're more excited, more confident about who we are. And so what all goes into deep health? And so I'm going to hit on uh, six different topics here. So first, there's one you can think of that's obvious of physical health. And so this is an obvious one. And so I want to get out of the way. So like, what is physical health? Well, it's feeling energized, it's thriving, performing, functioning well, um, having the strength and the endurance to be able to do whatever task your body wants to do. And so that's the way that you want it to be and need it to be. Okay, that's physical health. And so there's numerous ways to achieve that with good nutrition. And there's so many different exercise programs that with good nutrition and good recovery and sleep and everything that are going to physically pay off. It's going to help you achieve whatever type of fitness you're aiming for. Um, And deep health in this area is not about all or nothing diets that you go on and off or super intense exercise programs uh, that take you beyond beneficial soreness that actually bust you up. Um, That if you're feeling physically broken, then this area is not thriving. Okay, so the next area... Uh, I mean, there's a, there's five more things we haven't even got to. So maybe this is a, a time you're like, wow, I hadn't even thought about there's five more. Like, what else could there be? I, all I ever think about is like the physical health that I have. Like, what else goes into that? Um, so if we want to have physical fitness, this is just a small part of the entire puzzle of health. Your physical fitness is strongly impacted by all these other things we're about to go through. It's this, it's like this interconnected web. And so imagine that you, your life is like this wheel 
uh, like a bicycle wheel and it has these spokes on it that help support the rim of that wheel. And if all of these different areas are not balanced or one is like significantly unhealthy affects the integrity of the entire wheel, you might be putting too much stress on other things to where they underperform or even the whole wheel just starts breaking down um, or even getting misshaped. Uh, so if you imagine that, let's take that forward. So like what else goes into deep health? Well, there's five other spokes that we're going to talk about. First one is relational health. Uh, so that's being connected and authentic with others. And that's feeling supported or feeling like you belong to a community or, or to a group of people. And so, I mean, a question that you can stop and ask yourself right now, like, are you authentic with those around you? Are your closest people in your inner circle, are they authentic with you? Do you feel like you can or do belong? Or do you feel supported by those who you're around regularly in your life? So if not, what might need to change in that area? Next one is existential health. Okay, so that's kind of a fancy word, but this is basically just feeling like you have a sense of meaning in life or a purpose. And so this can come from a lot of things. Um, from really loving the work you do uh, or how you contribute to your family or community and society. Uh, it could be your spiritual health. It can be a lot of other things. Um, do you f and so a question you can ask yourself is like, do you feel like you have, uh, you have purpose in your life? Do you feel like you're just dragging or just going day to day, just surviving? Or do you feel like you're, you really have a purpose that you're aiming for that you really love to wake up and, sh and aim for each day? And why? And so and if you really can't say, yes, I do have a purpose in meaning life, then stop and think, like, what am I doing right now? It's taking away from that. It's just dragging me down. What can I do to make a small change right now? Um, and the next thing is mental health. So we've gone through physical, relational, existential. Now we've got mental health. So this is just being alert, focused, competent, thoughtful, um, learning, remembering, and solving problems well. So, I mean... Do any of those words uh, that I just mentioned describe you? Or are they kind of opposites of you? Are you thinking of more like opposites? Well, I don't feel like I'm alert or focused or competent or thoughtful. I don't feel like I'm learning on a regular basis. I don't feel like I'm re remembering things well or solving problems well. Um, then that might be a sign that maybe your mental health is not thriving. Um, but ask, your, ask yourself these questions like, if these are yes, why? If these are no, if I'm thinking of opposite words to those within why. Okay, so the next one is m emotional health. This is just experiencing a full range of emotions and feeling the freedom to express those appropriately. Um, and so that's a good question to ask yourself. Do you feel free to express your emotions? Do you feel like you're trying to push them down and hide them? Are you trying to bottle those up? Because eventually that's gonna help make you feel unhealthy or cause an unhealthy response in some situation at some point with someone, usually a significant other. Um, are you consumed by your emotions or having huge highs and huge lows? Uh, these are good questions to ask about our emotional health. And so and I think in previous generations or um, certain places in the world, it, um, it can be strongly encouraged to sort of suppress your emotions, but that just leads to unhealth. Um, as long as you have some people you can um, express these openly with some friends or family you can express that openly with that's going to help you feel better emotionally it's going to help you feel like you have an outlet uh, where you can process these things and feel open about that uh, we don't want to just keep these buried down um, and environmental is the last one and this isn't just like you know pollution you know global warming all that stuff like uh, it's not about the environment that you know air quality outside it's it's uh your surroundings, really. It's, it's knowing your everyday surroundings supports your health and your well-being. Um, and this is set, this is like the setting that you're in each day and hour in your daily routines. So is that promoting your health or is that taking away from your health? Um, and so that can be like, what's your workplace like? What's your home life like? What's your community like where you live? Uh, what's your town like? What's your city like? What's your What's your the general state of your country. You know, if you live in a country that's in the middle of a war or something like that, then your environmental health might be putting a ton of stress on your life. And so this is this is like an entire wheel 
uh, with spokes that are going out to support the rim for a reason because you can imagine if one of these areas is really suffering, is really struggling, then it's gonna really take away from the health of the entire thing. And so imagine a time whenever you were super stressed about work. What did it feel like to even think about doing exercise? Did it seem exhausting to even think about it? Or if you did show up at the gym, did you feel like you performed at your best or super well? Um, sometimes, you know, you can be angry and, and uh, do well in a workout, but eventually you're just gonna feel broken. You're gonna have to have somewhat of a crash at some point and try to recover. Um, if you're emotionally struggling, if you're having like struggle with depression, or you're feeling isolated because your relational health isn't doing great, if you feel like you have no purpose in life, that just drags you down. You can and the physical signs show up. Um, and so, if you're feeling physically just like dragging, that can be a sign of like, okay, maybe there's something else in this entire web, this entire area, this entire wheel that. Maybe I need to check out and I need to address right now. And so it's not just like this addressing the physical exercise, the activity, or the nutrition. It's addressing your entire lifestyle as a whole. That's what has blown my mind in the last several years as I have learned more about the impact of your entire life on your physical well-being. Um, where it's it's easy for me to just like, for anyone, um, to just be like, okay, I'm just going to focus on this workout. It's going to make everything better. Uh, when that's not necessarily true. You know, and because if everything else in your life is pulling you down, adding a physical stress might just lead you to an injury. But if you work on the holistic thing as a whole and you scale up the exercise and the, and work on nutrition as you go, then the whole the whole web, the whole wheel might get stronger. And so this is why I like this this concept of deep health is super important. It's not good to just ignore one area of the, of the wheel, or one area of the diagram and just totally forget about everything else. Um, it's not it's not good to just focus on one, forget about everything else. It's not good to just ignore one and, and assume that everything else is going to bring that up and make it all fine. Um, and so I challenge you today, like actually draw out a wheel, you know, draw out like little spokes towards that rim. Um, you can even make it sort of segmented so that you can measure and each spoke would be like one is physical, one is relational, one is existential, that's like that meaning purpose. Uh, one is mental, one is emotional, and one is environmental health. And, and consider like, how am, I, how am I measuring? How does my wheel look? How does this diagram look? You know, if I color it in, if I, if I segment it out, am I balanced? Am I really lacking in some areas? And how can I actually address that in some small way today? Um, because this is really going to benefit your physical health. You know, me as a as a strength coach and a nutritionist uh, in that area of expertise, and when I'm more concerned about the physical health, I have to recognize, like in my coaching, that it's not just um, that one zone that I have to focus on. Like to really help you, to really help any client in developing their overall physical fitness and well-being and the way their body is responding, we have to consider everything that is informing how your body is doing right now. And that includes all of the outside stressors, every part of that wheel, that diagram, that's, that's going to inform your body to affect the stress that your body is taking on. And that's going to affect how your body is, is uh, feeling and doing physically. And so try it out, give it a shot, draw it on a napkin, draw it on a piece of paper or on a note today um, and see where you're at. And you don't have to be perfect, no one is. Uh, but consider like what can be a small thing, a small little behavior that I could try to put in so I can ultimately feel better and be working towards better overall deep health in the long run. Um, it's progress. It's not perfection. And so what's the point of all of this? Why should a you know strength coach and nutritionist uh, be sharing, um, <laughs> talking about deep health? Why, why did I talk more about all the other things? things besides your physical health today is because all of those other things go into how you physically are doing. And so if you are hitting a plateau on your physical health, consider all the other things that are informing um, your life and your well-being right now. And if you work on all of those things, even just choosing one thing at a time, like, man, I'm not doing relationally well. I've been a little isolated re lately. Let's, I want to find some people that I can feel supported by and be connected to. That can be some small thing that can help bring up your energy to really be able to increase what you're doing exercise and nutrition-wise and have better motivation to show up and do a little bit here 
today. So that's what I got for you today. I hope you guys really understand how deep health is, is an all-inclusive holistic thing and, that, and pursuing that and chasing that is going to be what's going to really benefit our health for the long run. It's not just going to come to you. We got to chase it. And so how are you going to chase that one step at a time today?